I want to invite to the podium uh, uh, my friend, the Professor Jorge Luis Lázaro Martínez, who is uh, working here in the Complutense University in Madrid, where he conducted a uh, very interesting work uh, together with uh, Javi uh, Aragon Sánchez on uh, 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 creating some evidence on the um, uh, surgical and medical approaches to infection in diabetic food. And I'm happy to give him the speech, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Alberto, for your kind presentation. And thank you for, to the Juma organization for inviting me to share our result regarding antibiotics versus conservative surgery for treating diabetic food osteomyelitis. As we know, the, the best treatment for diabetic food osteomyelitis has not been described until now. We had two options. One option is surgery, and the other option is medical treatment, especially getting antibiotics to the patient. And in the majority of the case, this, the, um, the, the common option for treatment is the combining uh, therapy, surgery plus uh, antibiotics. What, has the, uh, what, what are the advantages or disadvantages of the medical treatment for diabetes food osteomyelitis? You can see for antibiotics, the main advantage, in my opinion, is that no need a, a, a skill uh, for uh, any uh, professional that are integrating in the diabetes food team. Uh, in, other say, in other words, uh, you can get uh, antibiotic if you uh, are any physician with uh, minimal uh, uh, training. But obviously, uh, the main disadvantage for getting antibiotic for the patient is the uh, development of resistance and the deleterious effect in the renal uh, failure in the case of the majority of these patients have a renal failure because uh, they are diabetes. In the other hand, we had the advantage and dis disadvantage of the diabetic food uh, osteomyelitis treating but surgery. We have a, 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 a third that is some quite different to surgery. This is conservative surgery. Conservative surgery is quite different and try to explain uh, during the during my presentation. But the main advantage to the conservative surgery is that has, it has been demonstrated less amputation rate. It has been demonstrated high percentage of lead uh, solvent, uh, reduce the period of antibiotic therapy, and the main disadvantage of the uh, conservative surgery probably is that requires for a training surgeon in uh, in the multidisciplinary uh, in, in, the, in the multidisciplinary uh, team, and the studies have need some a lot than outcomes. Well, in summary, we have a lot of difficulties to, the, to create a, a, a broad evidence from the best approach for the tra treatment of osteomyelitis. Why uh, we, we uh, don't have a lot of publication regarding this kind of treatment? In my opinion, because the patient have a high heterogeneity, there is a different type of bone infection. The presence or absence of the peripheral vascular disease probably is could uh, influence in the outcome of the patient. The presence of the absence of the soft tissue infection or necrotisis infection could, is could be in the outcome also. And the difficulty, the, the availability of the different diagnostic tests and their validation and also, as well, ethical consideration and the lot of con are expensive and hard to make. But for this reason, we uh, were thinking the, to the necessity to, to make a randomized control trial that uh, demonstrates the efficacy to the treating the patient uh, by antibiotics or by conservative surgery. This is the aim of, the, of our study to compare the outcome of the treatment in diabetic food patients who has osteomyelitis treated exclusively with antibiotics on those of patients who underwent a conservative surgery. Uh, this is, uh, there was a um, uh, randomized control trial in the inclusion criteria of the study was older, a patient older than 18 years old, neuropathy ulcer complicated by osteomyelitis, the ability to attend the appointments during the follow-up period and writing consent for inclusion in the study, and the exclusion criteria uh, were patients with several infections according to infection disease society or American classification, necrotasis so tissue infection and companion osteomyelitis, peripheral arterial disease, charcoal food, bad uh, metabolic control, bone exposed at the bottom of the ulcer, pregnancy, antibiotic allergies, 
uh, uh, renal failure, hepatic insufficient, hepatic who did not underwent their purpose of the study or refused to be included. Uh, all patients uh, uh, were assessed uh, by neurological assessment and vascular assessment, and after this, uh, all patients were diagnosed by uh, the combined of this proof, uh, prone to both tests and SRI, that has been demonstrated in our previous studies that has the same validation than resonance man uh, magnetic. Uh, the intervention of the study uh, 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 the intervention of the study was uh, at the beginning the therapy with antibiotic was thesis for two weeks because the majority of the patients that are coming to were coming to the to our clinic uh, um, are in the antibiotic treatment and a deep tissue sample from the bottom of the ulcer was taken in every patient. I was sent to a microbiolo microbiological laboratory, and then uh, we performed an allocation to intervention antibiotic blood and surgical group. The protocol for antibiotics were uh, the treatment was initially empiric with three uh, uh, kinds uh, of antibiotic th uh, therapy, ciprofloxacin, amoxicillin plus uh, clavulanic acid, or trimotropin uh, plus sulfametasol. The antibiotic regimen was modified according to the result of antibiogram, and, the, uh, and at the beginning, the antibiotic treatment was uh, defined uh, lasted 19 days. If the patient did not heal at had a positive protuon test result or a progressive radiological bone destruction surgery was carried out in the same fashion of the surgical group. The surgical protocol consists in conservative surgery procedures. Conservative surgery procedure is what defined by our uh, publication, like removal of the infected bone without performing amputation on any part of the foot, and all surgeries were performed by the same surgeon. And during the process, this, uh, the patient is getting antibiotic, was getting antibiotic during 10 days, uh, empirical antibiotic after surgery. The local treatment for the was the was the, the same for all patients, obviously. And the beginning antibiotic dressing uh, was used for two weeks. After two weeks, patients were treated according to uh, bunker protocol. All patients were performing above loading with fetid pad and a removable gas walker, and patients were evaluated every 40, uh, 48 hours or 72 hours. The studious point was hailing needing for revision surgery, amputation rate, recurrent rates, mortality, reulceration, and we are following the patient during uh, 12 weeks. This is the flow chart uh, that I think you can see better than me because uh, <laughs> it's so far the, the, the monitor. But in the flow chart, you can see the allocation of the patient. And finally, we allocating uh, 27 patients to the um, uh, medical treatment and 25 patients to the surgical uh, 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 R. You can see the difference between the main uh, uh, general demographic characteristic of the patient. In the majority of the case, the patients are similar, are very similar, with a little difference between groups. And you have the access location. In this case, we uh, find a um, difference between the location, especially in the location in the metatarsal uh, bones, because the patient who received antibiotic treatment has more lesion under metatarsal uh, um, uh, bones. And in the other hand, the patient who has uh, surgery uh, or who were under, uh, undergoing um, surgery, better said, has more lesion over the first metatarsal bone. This is the surgical procedures, arthroplasty, sesamoidectomies, bone curettas, and osteotomies. This is the antibiotic therapy between and after receiving the antibiogram. And this is the cultural result in the antibiotic group and the surgical group and after the bone culture in the surgical group. This is the blood test. And this is the primary outcome of our uh, study. The primary outcome were healing, or was defined like healing in race and time. You can see that the results are similar in both groups, are similar in time to healing, seven weeks median healing time in antibiotic therapy, and six weeks median healing in, uh, time in surgical group, and in an the same, very similar, with a, a, a statistical uh, difference between uh, rate, uh, we have a rate of healing uh, 70, 
5% in antibiotic group and 86% approximately in surgical group. The complications are similar both in, the, in both groups without any difference. And you can see the inflammatory markers during, you can see the inflammatory markers during the follow-on period, especially with the uh, control of the ESR and the control of the CRP and the control of the leukocytosis at day zero at following after two weeks. The discussion uh, where I study is, first of all, is the first randomized control target in diabetic food osteobilities currently. It has not been different between groups in type 2 heli and a number of fasting heli. Complications were similar in both groups, and they were not different in amputation rate. The previous studies have demonstrated more or less the same result with antibiotic results and more or less the same result with surgical intervention. But our uh, main limitation were shorten of cone, healing as primary it point, probably the size of the sample is very little, absent or confirming the diagnostic in antibiotic group, and the different elocation could be affected the outcome between group. But the problem, from the, uh, the problem primarily we find with the outcome, because many people questioning the healing like uh, the first outcome, because healing in many, many uh, uh, papers has been defined like other uh, aspect, for example, like remission. In this article from uh, uh, Aragon Sanchez, uh, it has been demonstrated that the recurrence from osteomyelitis is appear only in a short period of time after surgery. So it's questionable the concept of remission, like uh, concept of remission, it's using like uh, F point in other, uh, in other paper uh, getting antibiotics because we have uh, a lot of osteomyelitis without clinical site on infection, especially in fibrosis and chronic osteomyelitis. And you can see where these clinical inflammatory signs are, are uh, very few, and it's impossible to uh, record the progress of the outcome of the patient. Then this patient is can be it can be very easy, but in this kind of passage, for example, when you have a fistula tract with a very little ulcer, it's very, very hard to, 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 to do a recording of clinical inflammatory side. But in conclusion, at the first conclusion, we had to, co we, we had to confess that um, our first presentation is demonstrated that surgery is better than antibiotics, and the paper demonstrated that both treatment uh, give the same uh, result. But our conclusion is when you are getting primary antibiotics and when you are getting primary surgery, primary is the uh, little, uh, uh, is a little pill to uh, uh, promote a protocol to treat osteomyelitis and uh, I, I try to, uh, I try to follow up with all uh, patients and, and demonstrating what kind of, uh, uh, of treatment is the best for treatment of osteomyelitis. Thank you very much for your attention.